Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Monday, December 7th, 2015. Yeah, so the weather here is nuts. We just think every night we get this fog. I've been making jokes about Mistborn, about the mists that show up every night because that's what it feels like. This fog every night now, and it's just like I don't understand it because it hasn't been. You know, we got lows in the 30s, we got highs in the 40s, we don't have snow on the ground. I don't know, it's weird what's what's going on, but yeah, it's it's pretty foggy this morning. We've been getting uh, dense fog advisories every night, so uh. And this morning, yeah, I probably have got about half a mile of visibility, maybe. I can see some. I can see some lights ahead. Maybe it might be actually a little bit further. It may not be quite as thick as it seemed at first, but it's it's definitely cutting down visibility a bit. Kind of a strange winter so far. Uh, so I did a lot of work on the uh, recording studio this weekend. I got <clears throat> one of the main points of sound deadening up. I've got a little bit more work on that to do. I'm actually hoping to get that done this weekend because I got some recording I want to be doing. Yeah, yes. It'd be nice to be doing that next week. I kind of need to be doing that next week. Just a few more days. I'm going to get my LASIK done on Saturday. I am really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to getting that done. Uh, Of course, because I am a week away, Saturday I somehow managed to put a just outrageous scratch on my glasses. The good news is it's outside of my normal vision. I can kind of see it at the very, very top of my vision on my left eye because it's on the left lens. I'm not quite sure how I did it. I might have done it. I got these clip-on sunglasses. Maybe that did it. Or I did it sometime when I was working and didn't notice. I don't know. Not quite sure when that occurred. But yeah, at least it's not like right across the front of my vision. Still, I was like, you know, figures, you know, a week before I'm going to get LASIK, I got to scratch up my glasses. It was kind of a musical weekend. It was a busy weekend. We had, um, the wife had a Christmas party at church that she went to during the morning and afternoon. And then we had a Christmas party that we went to together. I didn't go to the first one because it was a women's only deal. And then we drove to Ann Arbor, which is about an hour south of here, uh, to the University of Michigan campus. And we saw a performance of Handel's Messiah at Hill Auditorium on the campus of the University of Michigan. And that was good. It was the whole thing. And that's pretty rare that, that places do the whole thing. Usually, you know, if they're doing doing it for Christmas, they might they might cut out some of the more Eastery bits, and if they're doing it for Easter, they might cut out some of the more Christmassy bits. But they did the whole thing, which is good because that meant that my favorite song, "Surely He Has Borne Our Griefs," and that our favorite piece in that song um, was 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 there, obviously, if they did the whole thing. A lot of times it gets cut out for Christmas time, which annoys me, because it's awesome. But that was a late, I mean, because it got out after 10, I think. And then we had an hour yet home. So that was, you know, crawling in bed after midnight, basically. But we went because the wife has, she's teaching a handle class this semester, and so she's got like five students in this class, so they all went. And then um, there was some coursework involved with that, but uh, since they've learned about handle, they thought they would go and 
and hear it live. So yeah, it was pretty good. We were up in the mezzanine. I gotta say, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful facility, and the acoustics are great. Because I don't think there was any amplification going on, but you could hear everything. You could hear the soloists. The orchestra came out really good, and we were, you know, so we're in the mezzanine, so we're one level up. There was a balcony above us, but uh, I thought uh, I could hear just fine. So I thought that was that was impressive. And the facility is impressive because they've got apparently two organs. They got a huge pipe organ, and then they had the sky was on another little organ, I think. Um, the big pipe open organ was saved for Worthy as the Lamb at the very end. He just kind of tootled around on the on the other organ. So that was Saturday's musical outing, and then last night the. Um, there's this group called the, what is it, the Tuesday, Rochester Tuesday Musicale or something like that. Anyway, they, um, every year they put together this, this program <clears throat> where they get a bunch of the local church choirs to come and do, to sing a couple Christmas carols. Uh, we went for years, uh, the, church choir that I was in, uh, and it was a big deal, it was, you know, 10 to 12 choirs, and, and, uh, it, it's, it's always standing room only, so you gotta get there early, get a seat, that part hasn't changed, uh, they were kind of scraping, um, for choirs this year, apparently, I don't know if it's just like everything, kind of, but they only had seven choirs, and there were a number of places where, if, if uh, like the college where the wife works, the, the, um, the acapella chorus sang, but also this other smaller group that they have sang, and that was their first time. And then another church just got like a, a young people's choir and then a normal choir. They had them both singing. And, and as it was, they only had seven choirs. So... So they, um, yeah, it was it was a shorter program than usual. They always have a, sco- a scholarship recipient uh, sing in the middle. It's kind of intermission slash donation taking. And they had this young woman who is almost done with her undergraduate education and apparently is looking to get into operatic performance. And it's going to be planning on getting a master's in opera. I didn't even know there was such a thing. But she had a beautiful voice. And you could tell she's, she's definitely got that operatic thing going on. She did Oh Holy Night. And that was really, really quite nice. She did a great job. So yeah, it was kind of a musical weekend. Lots of Christmas music heard. And there was some good stuff. And and there was a couple things that were like, really? But, you know, you take the good with the bad. And all, all in all, it was an enjoyable thing. It was still, we got there, I don't know, we got there, because um, you know you got to get there early. It starts at 7.30, and I think we got there like quarter of seven, something close to that. And it was still, the parking lot was still fuller than what I've usually seen during that time. And there were a lot of people already get, you know, seated, so we, we actually got fairly decent seats, but it was, it was pretty busy, uh, it would look like it was still some standing room toward the back there as, as the show went on, which is not unusual, um, at all, anyway, so that was kind of the weekend, a musical weekend, that's what I thought I'd talk about, uh, I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then, so, be seeing you.